We will start sewing with the zipper pocket on the side. You need your piece A for this. Now I am going to be sewing two purses, the regular version and the slim version. And because I'm doing two purses, I'm going to show, I'm going to use two different types of zippers. My number three zipper and my number five zipper. And in the pattern, you have to make one modification before using the number five zipper. And that is these shorter A pieces that you cut on this dotted line here you will have to trim off another quarter inch from the top if you are using a four and a half or five uh, zipper. So I already did that. And we'll set these aside. And if you're doing a zipper pocket, you will end up having a uh, exterior and lining piece that were cut on the taller solid line here, this solid line, and then you will have an exterior and a lining piece that are cut on this dotted line. And your zipper. This is eight inches across the top, so you will need a zipper that is uh, nine inches or longer. In order to make it easier on ourselves, we're going to put this part that has the uh, the uh, zipper pull off the edge of the zipper and we're going to match this zipper up across the top here. Then you take the lining and clip it on top so the zipper is sandwiched in between them. And now we'll sew it. The seam allowance for this pattern is a quarter inch. And it is surprisingly difficult to sew with a consistent seam allowance right now because I have a camera right in front of my eyes. If I lean forward, I will hit my head on my phone. Okay, and now you can either press or finger press this down. Then I like to clip the two layers together before top stitching it to the zipper. So we have this uh, finished outside of the zipper. Now of the, the remaining uh, lining A piece, we'll put this directly on top. 
and the zipper should match perfectly across the top but if it doesn't because you didn't sew it absolutely perfectly we start by uh, clipping the bottom first also sometimes zipper tapes aren't exactly an inch so you might find a little variation with, with how wide your zipper is mine is actually just under an inch so I have a little bit of space here at the top that's okay because I expected it oops what am I doing wrong piece you'll need one of your piece A accent pieces piece B accent pieces sorry now match it with the top of the lining piece now fold this upward and top stitch across I always increase my stitch length when I top stitch top stitching I'm also going to baste around this entire piece I need to stay within the quarter inch seam allowance though so I'm going to only baste about an eighth of an inch from the edge and I'm going to go back and forth this zipper just a little bit because I'm going to be trimming the zipper off and I want to make sure that if I that I don't accidentally unzip the zipper or anything this part is very important uh, make sure that you open the zipper enough that you're not sewing the zipper pull off the edge and then baste over the front and I'm also going to go back and forth like this and now this extra zipper can be trimmed off and I have a zipper pocket ready to go I'm gonna leave the zipper pull in the middle so that it doesn't interfere with the seams and set that piece aside for my remaining side this is easy and if you are not doing a zipper pocket, in fact, I don't think I'm even going to clip these. I can just hold it in place. If you're not doing a zipper pocket, you would do this on both sides. to now press my seam open with my fingers because I can't iron the vinyl 
and I'm going to stitch on either side of the seam. I'm actually going to do the vinyl first because this is a little trickier to sew. So I'm going to get it out of the way. Both of my A sides are complete. 